Hey, it's me. Let's see, I gotta find it here. Got six of them. I gotta figure out the winners right there. Right there. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Well, I tell you, remember I told you, hey, make sure you groom yourself up. Got my little mustache. This is supposed to be a mustache comb. Of course, I'm using it for a beard, which is not a mustache, but I ain't got enough mustache right there. Remember I told you, you got to always look good, no matter what. Except groomed in the morning. It is morning here on the east coast of uh, North America. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm quarantined. Whatever. But it's morning. Hey, so I have a hot cup of tea. Look, I got tea in my guts. Uh, there we go. Good of uh, whatever it is, herbal tea from China. I got ginseng tea from China. No jokes. Okay, no jokes. Okay, fine. Hot, hot tea. I'm having, this is ginseng tea. It's hot. It's all experts say so you're supposed to have hot, hot drink in the morning. Now, my, my associate down in Dubaza, I said, well, he normally just drinks, you know, hot, hot, hot water and, and lemon in the morning. So he's got it not. He's he's got that rhythm already. You know, he's got that habit, you know, which reminds me, everything is habit. That's the point. It's interesting when they say lockdown for um, for um, it's hot rag. It's hot rag. OK, if they say lockdown for 21 days, we realize it takes 21 days to, you know, I say it takes 21 days to break a habit and 21 days to create a new habit. So that's what, 21 and 21 is what, 42? So 42 days. You can start a whole new life in 42 days. So the first thing you should do, since we have, since you're on lockdown anyway, is I know you got tea and I got a bunch of, they got, there's tea around, you know. So if I, we have robo tea, man, I don't even have no robo tea, man. That would be really good for you right now. Anyway, the point is, we got tea. I took ginseng. But you know, at nighttime, you can do chamomile. You know, you have, you have some tea around. There's regular black tea. You know, black tea is good for you. Oh, I, I know they got the green tea there. Let me tell you something. I don't do green tea. It, 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 there's like black tea and green tea. I do black tea. The reason why I don't do green tea is because green tea just makes me thirsty. Hungry, too. But I was listening to this doctor anyway, the, the scientist. And what they say is that, hey, hot hot thing in the morning, well, you know, your, your appetite will come. So you, you, look, just do hot in the morning. <laughs> I'm no expert. Go find your expert or whatever have you. you know? Which is what I'm trying to say. Even if you listen to some of these politicians, like say uh, the Cuomo guys on the air all the time, and he said, well, they tell me, you know, so you're getting your, your information second or third hand because you're listening to your politician who put you in the, who put you in the thing in the first place. Because remember, all these politicians, they're of a certain class, a certain caste, you know what I mean? And they're looking out for themselves. The question is, when are we going to, when are you, okay, we going to look out for ourselves? Look, they just put this whole stimulus bill and what, three quarters of it is for them? Them and their cronies? How does that happen? The three quarters of the country, a uh, uh, three quarters of the country, them and their cronies. So they look out for themselves. Did, did they cut their salaries? Did, did these big uh, owners of sports team all of a sudden say, "Okay, we're going to support not only or we're going to support the extended families of of all our workers"? That, you know what I'm saying? They don't think like that. So why are you thinking like that? The question is, where are the pitfalls? Pitchfork, which one? You know the pitchfork analogy, the one that Barack Obama says, only, stand, only thing standing from you, the bankers, bankers, uh, outlaws, whatever have you, and the, and, the, and, the, and the citizenry, the citizenry, the citizens. <laughs> Are pitchforks. Well, even if we wanted pitchforks, remember all the jobs are out someplace, so you'd have to get the pitchforks from China and supply lines are not working back yet. So, to, so uh, see what I'm saying? Come on now. Stop listening to these people who do not have your stuff, in your interest at hand. <laughs> it's simple. You know, they doing what they need to do. And they got the old thing going. You need to do what you, what you need to do, which is to unravel what they travel and ravel. They're raveling. You need to unravel. I'm sorry. We need to unravel. So all this time that we're sitting there plotting and drinking, your, drinking hot, your hot beverage in the morning, waiting for your hunger to come so you can eat more. So today's Sunday, so this probably won't be posted anytime soon. Anyway, my point is on Mondays I do my fasting. So every that's the kind of that's the kind of habit you do. 
You change your habits. Yeah, okay, I'm in the house for 21 days, 14 days, whatever, 21 days. If I extend this to that, I'm isolated for that, then I could start doing stuff like, you know, doing my push-ups in the morning. Just an idea. I'm just saying, okay, you can't do push-ups, something. Do my running and walking in place in the morning, you know, my stretching, whatever it is. But the point is, do something. You know, use this, use this time for something. You know, something that's going to be beneficial to you. Unraveling what they continue to do, which is to screw you. Sorry to use the strong language. That's what it is. Just a message from me. Tea. Drinking tea in the morning at an undisclosed location. Be well. <laughs>